Uh, Isaac, how are you? Ah, nice to meet you. Todo bien, ¿y tú? <laughs> bien, bien, muchas gracias. <laughs> sí, mucho gusto. Mucho gusto, Isaac. It's really nice to, to have you here. And it's amazing how this universe of power has expanded. We have the original show, we have Ghost, Raising Cannon, and now we have Force. Yeah. Why is this franchise having such an incredible success? What's the secret? You know, I think it's the, the, the secret is that the chemistry, I think the chemistry, the writing, and tapping into storylines that people can really gravitate to and people can see themselves in. Like, you know, for a while, I remember, you know, on First Power, like people were loving Tariq at one minute and then they were hating him. People were loving Angela at one minute, they were hating him. Same thing with, with Ghost. And I think when you, when you chime into people's emotions, then I think that's when you grab them because everybody has emotions and everybody has, feels a different way about people and they have opinions. And I think they've done a great job with really confronting those different things, opinions, emotions, and then adding acting with these, with these actors and creating this chemistry. I think it's been a great storyline. I think that's the secret. Yeah, um, it's true. I mean, uh, I think speaking about that, one of the best things of the franchise is this tension, is this mysterious and this betrayal as well. Yes. So how much of this are we going to watch on this new show without giving away too much? I'm not going to give away too much. Just understand that you're going to get everything that you saw in the other shows uh, tenfold, multiply it by 10, if not, you know, or more. Because as you enter the divorce, we understand that we're dealing with Tommy Egan is coming off the original power. So we understand what he's bringing to the table. And we have to understand that he's bringing that even more like that driving to that Mustang and where he's going, that's already like, okay, what the hell is going on? So we have a mystery behind what's going on. Then we have a, you know, a transition for his character from him leaving everything he knew behind and then falling into a place where he's unknown. He's already, he's a, he's, a, he, he's kind of like the new ghost in the, in the aspect of he has a new life ahead of him. So now he's coming to a new city. And I mean, he's coming in with the, with the, with the, with the, with the gun smoking, the car smoking, and, and just all of a sudden disrupting a lot of things that have already just been cool and calm. It was a way of, it was a way of life already before he came to come to this new city. When he comes to the new city, he's disrupting a lot of families and he's disrupting, disrupting a lot of, you know, things that the cordial things that have been happening. Now, I think it's just like, you're going to get everything you mentioned before, the betrayal, the, the lies, the deceit, the love. You're going to get all these different things and the, the emotional pull that you're going to face as fans, I think it's going to be amazing. I think no matter where you are in the world, you're going to be able to relate to this. That sounds really interesting. And when I watched the trailer, uh, I, could, I can feel that chemistry that you were talking about before. Mm -hmm. So could you please tell us uh, more about the relationship that your character have with Tommy? Sure. Uh, I think it, it, it's just one of the things where it's like, it's, it's, it's going to have fans on edge between the relationship between Diamond and Tommy, because you're like, okay, they are they working together? And why are they working together? Okay, how long will they be working together? And what's the motive <laughs> behind it? Like, so there's going to be a lot of like squinty eyes and like, hmm, I don't know going on as they continue to watch that. But I think what they're also fans are also going to see is the similarities that they have, how they may, you know, they, as you know, when you talk to someone, you start to kind of see similarities sometimes like, Oh, you've been through that too. And it's like, yeah, but where'd you do it? At? I was in New York. Oh, well, I was in Chicago. We did it like this. And it's like, you know, there's, there's kind of like a underlying bond that you kind of see touching and coming together, but then you're like, hold on, wait a minute. They want, <laughs> they want, they want, you know, what did he want? What does he want? So, I think that that juggle between who they are, the similarities, and then the disparities that they have between one another, it, and then knowing that they both are like scary characters, like scary people and people that are about some action, you just don't know. It's like, a, a, sometimes it could be a ticking time bomb. You don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> How did you achieve this magic that is like, you have a, this moment of drama, but then you're, but then you're joking with Tommy. So how, how was that behind the scenes? How was this magic of getting from drama to, to comedy, if you can say? 
Yeah, I think the the magic between that what you're speaking of uh, comes from you no know, some of it is it, it, some of it is the writing, but it's also myself and Tommy uh, Joseph sitting in the car talking with one another. Like we would sit there and we we would we would get to know one another. Like when, even before we started shooting, we would you know we we went, we go out and just kind of hang out because we knew we had to have some type of chemistry. And him already having the foundation of who Tommy is, I looked to him to to try to learn more about the franchise, learn more about the character, more about the direction and the tempo and the tone of the show. And he was nothing but helpful with that. So, and a lot of times in between the shots, we're just sitting in the car. So we're talking about our families, we're sharing stories, you know, so we're getting to know one another that when you start to get to know a person, you start to kind of like just merge that into the lines and into the script. And then I think it comes off and it resonates that way. And I, I hope it really does. And what you're telling me, I'm glad. And I just think that, you know, he's an amazing actor. And I think I was just, hopefully I did justice by, you know, playing side by side with him. Just read the trailer. Uh, I think that you got it. You got it. And I'm looking forward to seeing it. And finally, Isaac, I would like to, to ask you about these insights or details that you can give us about the stunts, the using of guns and the action, which is really important in this franchise. What can you tell us about this? I think what I can tell you, man, is that I think, you know, I, I talked to someone before to a director and he's like, it's, it's in order for things to run very well, it's 75% of who you hire. And what they did with that crew in Chicago, I mean, hands down, I can speak nothing but greatness about them. Uh, as far as the safety measures when it came to the guns, which is very important, especially in this climate, you know, if, uh, so it's important that they would, you know, bring out the, the guns, show us the, the, the barrels, make sure it's clear. They would go through safety uh, instructions, every, you know, before any type of stunt scene. Uh, they took care of us even for some of the scenes later on. Anytime there's fight scenes, there's the, the stunt coordinators made sure that we understood the choreography for it. They made sure that we took time in between. They made sure there was a clear clarification about what is happening in the scene. And I believe what made it so important is just, just the energy and everybody wanting the show to be great and wanting to produce a great scene at the moment and everybody having that same kind of passion allowed for us to all kind of be on the same page. And when you're on the same page, there's really nothing that you can't, nothing that you can't do. And I think, you know, with this cast and with the crew, hands down, man, we, I think we, I felt in great hands. And I think everybody felt that way. So it, it was amazing that way. And is there any special scene that you have a good memory of it? <laughs> You can uh, tell us. You can tell us. Yeah, I can't. I can't <laughs> school, but I'm just saying, like, you know, it's, it's a lot of things. Diamond has been locked down for 15 years, you know, and it's, it's 15 years. And, you know, it, <laughs> he's a very disciplined man. Uh, he's a very focused man. But at the same time, you know, this, every man has needs <laughs> at some point. <laughs> so, therefore, you know, you know, and, and, and one thing about uh, Power and on Stars, They do a great job with some of those scenes. You know, some when I say those intimate scenes, they do a great job of pulling you in and making you, switch, <laughs> make you seem like you're there. But we'll see. You know, I, you know, I give it away. I don't want to be any spoilers and stuff, but we'll just see. But it's a lot of special scenes in this season. And I think that's what makes the show so special. There's a lot of great scenes, man. I said, thank you very much. Um, if you can say, please, hello to Colombia. We are really fan of power. And you were very nice with that. Sure. Hey, this is Isaac Keys. I'm playing Diamond Sampson on Power Book 4 of Force. Catch us on Stars Play. Columbia, we love you. I love you. And I look forward to you all checking out the season. And I hope to hear from you soon. Let's go. Viva la Colombia. <laughs> Gracias, Isaac. Mucho de, gusto. De nada. Mucho gusto, Carlos.